So here's Cardoon, and I think that she turned out okay. I mean, she's not the best figure. The hair is, of course, one of the things. But I really did like um, one of the um, a person who actually did it. They turned, um, you go on YouTube and you look up Lego um, Mandalorian Showcase. And it's um, um, on there. And um, he um, made a really cool Cardoon. And he actually um, cut like half of the hair for her, and then actually um, took um, some Sculpey or some the clay, I don't know what it was, and made a bun in the back. And uh, I don't have Sculpey, and um, I just decided to go for this approach. So, um, what I did is I gave her, um, I kind of took inspiration off the action figure. If you go online and you look up, I think it's a really cool action figure of her. But, um,. They actually gave her one of these really big knives and a gun. And that's what I did for her. So, yeah. A gun. Knife. And then I gave her a gun. These guns. And um, her gun actually straps around her. Which turned out really good. And um, you just lift up her arm. And you basically just take it off like that. Or you could just disconnect it and connect it afterwards. Yeah, that's what I'm probably just going to do. So I don't have to take the whole thing off. Now the hair is, um, the armor was so difficult for her, but let me actually show the gun. So, um, I actually took inspiration online, so I looked up Lego Cara Dune Custom, and somebody actually made a custom for her gun, right here. I added the little, um, what they had, is they had, like, this... And then I added like a little um, peg up here. So um, what you can do is you can give her the gun. And you can give her the top part of the gun. Which I think turned out great. If I can get it in her hands. Um, stalling. And um, yeah. I see. Turned out really good. But um, the armor itself was the hardest part, yes. I spent an hour outside and just taking, so you know this armor from Batman, this armor right here, and you're not going to believe me when I say it, so I went outside for a full whole hour, sanded the crap out of it, I mean crap, I went and the final thing that was left was this, I sand it to the bone, so I sanded the back off, the pegs, to the ground like this on the cement. I took the front and did it for a full, full hour. And I took it on her, and I kept putting it on and sanding the armor, but it's just impossible to do it on this hair. I mean, you would have to make, like, a full-on hair custom for her. And I just went for the ground for a full hour, and I just couldn't do that, so I decided to go for the Ninjago one, so you see the back right here, and the back actually has this, um, little, um, little circle on the back, and, um, you put your, um, swords in there, and that's what I did, and I just cut the back off, painted the sides dark blue, took the arms from the, I think it's really rare, but from Barbara Gordon, with, in her black suit from the Batman movie, and then I put these little, blue um, 3D printed handcuffs on here. I did, I actually did one of these and do two. And then, as you see, she has her tattoo on the side, which I think it turned out great. And, um, yeah, there she is. And, of course, yes, the hair looks pretty wonky because every time you try putting the hair on... Oh, yeah, and if you guys wanted to go... Yeah, this is what it looks like. And the hair is all the way on there. But if you guys wanted to go for a shorter hair, and um, I actually looked up a couple days ago, I looked up Cardoon Custom, and I found a really cool photo of everything. Let me just show you right now.